Hi, everybody. Well, welcome back to another episode of A Real Estate of Mind. We're your host, Glenn and Amber Schwarm. Hello, everybody. Where we help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing. So before we get started with our guests, let me explain our background and maybe the noise is a little echoey. So Amber and I, some of you may know, we have always had a goal to live down the coast uh, in Florida. And so we bought a home down here and we are in it now. We came down for a week to kind of meet contractors and get things situated. So we just said, let's bring the whole family down and let's just stay. So we're sleeping like uh, we're glamping yeah we're kind of like white trash we have uh air mattresses and uh, we went to walmart and got a kind of uh what do you call it like a roll out foam roll out foam mattress, foam mattress. Yeah. yeah so we're, we're we're making the best of the situation so we didn't have our normal studio here but we uh we're trying to make it work we're gonna do it outside but didn't know if wi-fi would work so we're a bit of a hot mess today but we're excited about uh about what's going on with our lives and what we're doing so so listen, I want to jump in today. So we have a very special guest. And you guys know we're always trying mm-hmm. to find you know ways to help all people that follow us and um, all of our students, everything else, you know, how to find clever, unique ways to, and I'm going to use our guest um, line today is to break financial shackles. I, I love that line. So I want to introduce Mr. Damian Lupo from Sedona. D- Damian Lupo, I said it from, from Sedona, from um, uh, EQRP company. Am I saying that right? So good. So, uh, but welcome, Damien. Glad to have you. Good to see you guys. Great, great to be here. Yeah. So, tell us a little about Damien. Tell us about your background and what you've done. I know we talked a little before the, the call. You've made money. You lost money. You made money. So, you've kind of you've got a lot of background in this. It, it's funny. I was I was wondering, like, how do you sum up a person in, in a couple of adjectives? I'm like the master of disaster, and and I think and I say that because most people look at mistakes as disasters. And I've I've started and had 50 plus companies. I've, I've had tens of millions of dollars in real estate, gone negative 5 million from 20 to negative five in 12 months. Like I've been through this whole process so many times. So I, there, there's a mastery around creating disasters, learning from them, growing, going into a bigger space, making your future bigger than your past. And I just get, I keep doing that over and over again. And it's, w- once you do it enough, you, you stop caring about the mistake as if it's a bad thing. You start embracing it and saying, how fast can I actually break something and learn from it and grow. It's it's kind of like when you're when you're working out at the gym, you don't go and get stronger with bigger muscle, and and you know you don't you don't develop the strength unless you tear tissue. And that's right. kind of how I've I've lived the last twenty five years is just tearing tissue and and realizing it's not going to kill me. Okay, this is cool. So it just keeps happening. It's funny once you get that strength behind you, once you understand that I think your your line is perfect. Right, it's not going to kill me if I'm going to survive this. And I think it makes you stronger every time. Right, every time you fail and get back up, you're you're a, you're a little bit stronger every time. And then the next time something happens, you're like, yeah, that's nothing. And I've we're confident too, because, you know, life experiences teach us things. So when, you know, you, you know, you've gotten through something hard, the next time something hard comes along, you have that self-confidence of knowing, yeah, I've been there, done that. I can do this again. Yeah. Well, cool. And you know, it's, it's funny because most people mm-hmm. when listening right now and just in the, in the, in the general population think if something happens like bad, that I'm going to be eaten because our, our primal brain says, if I make a mistake, I'm going to be eaten. And I laugh and I go, when I was working in the Arctic Circle in Alaska, where I grew up, if I made a mistake, when I went outside to take the trash out, a polar bear was out there literally. And so if I made a mistake and didn't pay attention, I would get eaten. So <laughs> mistakes for me meant getting eaten by mother nature, where most people, you're not going to get eaten by anything. I mean, unless you're, a, you know, you're on safari and you try to line up some, some uh, lion cubs, then you're going to get eaten. But if you're not in Africa or Alaska, the chances of being eaten are zero, but yet, yet our brain thinks that we're going to be eaten. So we that's tend to survival hesitate. instinct. Yeah. I got to tell you, you know, I'm thinking about you living in Alaska. That's, it, that's you know, the exact polar opposite from where I'm looking right now, my back, my back door. <laughs> Literally polar opposite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So tell us about what you do. I love when we talk. You have the financial university, the FU on your shirt. It's not to flip people off. You said it stands for financial university, which I think is great. And um, talk about breaking financial shackles and kind of what you do and what, what how you help people. I think it's great. Yeah. So so I'm, I have a podcast called Financial Underdogs, and it's it's kind of this whole financial. It, it's like an anti-university, if you will, because I talk about the reality of controlling your money and designing a future versus being held captive inside of Wall Street jail. And so the, f- the focus of the EQRP company that I spend my time and energy in is to give people control of, of their biggest asset, which is their retirement accounts. If you look at the population, it's, how, it's, our, it's our house, which we are not gonna eat, we're gonna live in it. And then it's our retirement accounts. I don't, I don't count social security or, or that kind of nonsense. Most people are sitting on there and they're, they're going, I hope that my 401k does, doesn't out, like I don't outlive it. And so the, the idea behind the EQRP company is to give people that are 
and are self-responsible, the opportunity to take their money and do things like invest in real estate with it, invest in crypto, invest in gold, do things outside of the Wall Street apparatus sure. or criminal organization, if you will. Sure. Now, I always make friends with financial advisors when I, when I speak. They're like, we're not all criminals. And I'm like, all right, we'll prove it. And so I, yeah, it, the, the idea is that I, I think people trust themselves if, if they are told that they can be trustworthy. I think that they are going to care about their money more than, than Wall Street. But unfortunately, Wall Street just tells you you're too stupid. It says it's too complex. If you don't have a PhD from MIT, then you really shouldn't be looking at your money. Just give it to us. And in 40 years, we might have something left. And I just, that makes me cringe. And I just, I've had too many experiences, like with my own parents, watching them play by the rules, military, school teacher. And you know what? They, they retired basically broke. So, so the, the, the do system different. doesn't work. What? Tell us what you do different. So we give people power and control. We, we're not, most people are abdicating responsibility. They, they hand their money over to somebody else. What the EQRP company does is it creates EQRPs. And this is a self-directed type of retirement account, different than an IRA where you just, you still have custodians and you're limited by what you can and can't do. This one gives you the ability to go invest your money. I mean, you can put massive amounts of money. So for example, like right now into 2021, you can put 10 times more money into it per year than you can an IRA. So it's, it's always funny to me. People are like, I have an IRA. And I go, so you're putting 6,000 bucks a year in. So over 20 years, you're going to have 100,000 in there. Boy, you're just going to be old. You're not going to be rich. And they go, well, I thought Dave Ramsey told me to do this. And I'm like, yeah, but Dave Ramsey has a show, man. He's making tens of millions of dollars with a show, not in his IRA. So it's, it's really about giving people the real information versus the fake news and the propaganda. And it's giving people the ability to control and, and, and not just hope that it works out. I mean, smoking hopium is a strategy, but it's a stupid one. Yeah. How, so tell me how it's because we do a lot of work with our clients, with our investors for over the years. You know, we, we start raising private money to do our flips and that kind of stuff. And we do, you know, we have about a five million base of private lenders that we work with. We've had for many years and, and I'd say probably three million ish is probably in self-directed IRAs through custodians. So I'm very familiar with that world and I'm not familiar with your world. So tell us more about that because like, like, I don't know, is it is it tax deferred? Is it tax free? If it's a Roth situation, I I. I can you, can you jump into some details? Let's dive in. Yeah, for sure. So the so most people have heard about and use, and in fact, I did the same thing. Self directed IRAs. It's a ten trillion dollar industry. So that's what we do. What we we do what we know, and then when we have new information, we look at it and go, "What's the difference?" Which is what we're going to talk about right now. What the, the difference is is that you you have the ability to invest in things like real estate. We all love real estate. One of the things we love about real estate is debt, because debt juices returns. And what most people don't know is with IRAs, if if you're investing IRA money in a house or a syndication, something, an apartment or whatever, and there's debt involved, you're going to pay upwards of 37% tax on a majority of your profits. And people don't realize that's going to happen until after things sell. And then they go, oh my gosh, where did this come from? Nobody even knows this is going to happen. It's called UBIT tax. And the EQRP is exempt from it. So massive difference. You're talking about just a huge compounding effect where you keep that money versus giving it away. It's a complete choice whether you pay that tax or not. That's just, that's just one thing. And so when people find that out, usually they go running for the doors with their IRAs. They say, why would I ever do this? What's the, there's no benefit with an IRA that, that is better than an EQRP. And in fact, I mean, you can put 10 times more money in, you're not paying UBIT tax. You can take physical possession of gold and silver. Uh, you, I mean, there's just, it, it goes on and on. And why, haven't, why isn't everybody doing it? They just don't know any better yet. So what's, what does EQRP stand for? It's an enhanced qualified retirement plan. So it's, it's, a, it's a type of retirement plan. It's a self-directed retirement plan. It, it falls under the 401 section of the tax code. And it works for people, whether they're by themselves, whether they have 50 employees. It's, it's a unique thing. It's the only one of its kind in the country. And so you have How the ability to direct. What's that? How long has it been around? 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. yeah so I've, it's funny. I've never heard I've of it. I've never. That's first time I, you're, you're the first time I've ever heard anybody talk about it. So it sounds all, you know, it sounds like anybody listener going, is that real? Is that legal? Is it, is it government? Is it, you know, is it something that's, is it, I mean, is, what, what's the, what are the taxes like on it? Are they, yeah. Are they so, so it's, it's, it's approved by the IRS. Um, it, that's part of the deal. You don't want to go do something like Wesley Snipes where you go, I'll do this thing and hope it works out. Like you want to get a blessing. It's not about getting forgiveness with the IRS. You just, you get permission. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, that's just a rule. So right. that that's part of it. it. It's a rule that you have that you've got your permission from the IRS whether you want to have tax deferred money or you want to have Roth money, it's all there. IRAs have limits. If you make too much money, you can't do Roth. You have to do all this crazy backdoor stuff. And with an EQRP, it doesn't matter how much money you make. 
you can have Roth, you can convert your money to Roth unlimited amounts. I mean, it's, it's funny because like Mitt Romney has $100 million in his account, or he did, you know, 10 years ago. So who knows how much is in there now? I mean, if it's good enough for Mitt Romney, it's probably good enough for everybody, all of us to do this type of thing. There's, there's really, it's kind of mind boggling where people go, well, wait, haven't I, why haven't I heard of this? Well, for one, I'm the one that created it. And so you're, unless you've heard me, which you, you might've, you might've seen me on stage or, or, you know, I, I teach with people like Robert Kiyosaki and, and such all over the world. So people have run into it and mostly it's word of mouth. You're not going to see mainstream media. Why would you, why would mainstream media ever teach you anything or they're, they're, they're advertising wall street. That's where the big, right. the big money is because of all the fees. And so you really just have to ask yourself, why would I have ever heard of this unless you're in alternative circles? Because mainstream you've is- created, You've created this whole brand, you've created this whole, this whole market sector? I, th th this is us. This is what we do. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of self-directed space. It's all kind of the same thing. Sure. Self-directed IRAs and you know, solo 401ks, those kind of things. They're all the same. Um, this, is a, this is a unique space. And it's, it's the ultimate. It's the Ferrari of, of 401ks. It's, it's really the premier space for anybody that wants to control their money. Be protected from litigation. I mean, this is this is America where you sue if somebody hurt your feelings. Like it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah. So you don't want to get your stuff. You you don't want to lose your retirement account, and that can happen in a lot of states. Very limited protections, whether it's IRAs or individual four hundred one ks. They don't have the protections that big four hundred one ks have. This does. So it's it's just a totally different world. So I find that with most things in life, there are you know there's always that yin and yang. There's always the pros and cons. What are, you know, we're talking about a lot of pros here. What would you say are some of the cons of going this way? Why would, why would you maybe not want to do this? Well, Just as somebody, that, well, I'll tell you, I mean, it's, it's like, why there's a lot of pros about having a Ferrari, but when you give a 27 year old, a Ferrari with too many millions of dollars, which was me in my twenties, getting that Ferrari, what are the cons you crash it or you get arrested? I did both. And that's, that's what people can do. You give them the keys, you put them in the driver's seat and cause you have absolute control over your money. So right. what can you do? Anything you want. Are you allowed to legally? No, but you're going to be in, in the driver's seat. So for some people, either one, they're too reckless or two, they've listened to Dave Ramsey too much and they're just too scared to use debt or such. And so that the cons are you're in control. And for, for the right person, for the savvy investor, that's the right answer. It's like, yes, that's what I want. For people that are insecure or uncomfortable or crazy, this is a bad idea because you can literally go out there and just get totally disqualified very quickly. So are, do you have the same parameters that you are similar to, you know, we started out, my first experience was, was with Tensco, right? You probably heard of Tensco. That was, a, that was when they, they've changed their name since, but whatever, and then Equity Trust and there's some big, big players in the self-directed space. And then, you know, their, their whole job in life, is, and they charge a lot of fees, of course, to do that, but their business, right? They're a for-profit. Their whole, their whole job in life was to keep you compliant with the IRS, what do you guys do? Because you have to have some compliance issues around tax deferred money. I mean, you have to, right? Yeah. So part of, part of the value proposition is keeping people in compliance. It doesn't mean we can prevent somebody from being stupid. I right. think a lot of the custodians are, there's so much friction there. Like I've, I've seen plenty where you want to do something and it might take you two or three or four weeks to get your money, get a check to do things. And that's because they're just scrutinizing and scrutinizing. Well, if you're savvy and you're smart, you don't need that. That's, that's good for a dumb, dumb investor, quite honestly. And if you're like, hey, I need that. I'm not, a, well, you might, maybe you're a dumb, dumb investor. I mean, I'm not going to pull punches. That, that's just how it is. So stick with that, that if, if that's what you need. This, we do the compliance piece and we're there to support it, but we're not getting in the way. We're not creating compliant. We're not creating friction. And that's, that's a huge difference. If you go see, hey, look, I, I found a deal and I want to fund it. It doesn't take you three or four weeks. It takes you three or four minutes. That's a huge difference because right now everything's speeding up and I don't think that that's going to stop. I think it's going to get worse. Meaning if it takes you long, too long to do a deal. I had a guy that wanted to buy some precious metals and he was trying to get a, his check from TD Ameritrade. It's been four weeks and I just got a message from him yesterday saying, oh, they're, they told me that it's now going to take a little longer, like another three or four weeks. We're talking two months to get his own money. So I mean, that's, that's what you're dealing with when you have these institutions, whether it's custodians or, or the, the TDs or the Schwabs, and they'll tell you point blank where, you know, they'll say maybe they're fast, but then you actually watch the process. So we do the, we do the compliance. We do all the filings. It's very simple. It's very transparent. Uh, it's flat fees. We don't charge, we don't charge any fees for transactions, for management, for AUM. There's, it's a flat fee. So that totally changes things. You're not getting, I mean, even wires are free. So there, when you look at, when you start comparing the value proposition, what are you getting for what you're paying? You're getting more for less. 
And it's, it's not because we're cheap, but we, we just, we've structured it so that it's fair and it's an appropriate number. And, and people appreciate that. They don't like being nickel and dimed. They don't, they want like having an IRA charging you three or $4,000 a year when you have a half a million dollars in there actually happens when you're an active investor. And in, in our space, you'd have, if you, if you were in our space, it'd be 500 bucks a year. I mean, that's a total, that's like, you know, it could, could be 10 times the difference. So it's for the responsible investor that wants more control over. It's, it, it, it is, it's for the responsible investor that trusts themselves more than they do yeah. somebody else. It's, it's that, that knows that they're going to design their life and they don't want a default life. It's, it's for somebody that, that actually has a big vision for their life. It's, it's not right. somebody that wants to just sit on a merry-go-round and experience Groundhog Day. Right. Oh, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Certainly not ours. That's like not, that's lather, not like lather that. rinse, repeat, do the same yeah. thing the next day over yeah, yeah, yeah. and over and over again. Yeah. So that's, so that's exciting. So, so on yours, the people can do whatever they want with the money. For instance, they can buy flips. They could, could they loan out hard money lenders, right? They could be a, a lender. Is, is there, so are there any restrictions on what they can't do? Let me ask you that question. Yeah. There's so in, as you know, if our listeners, I'll let them know too, that if you don't know this, there are a lot of, you know, rules, the IRS, when it comes to who you can lend to, right? You can lend sideways in your family, but not up and down in your family, right? There's a lot of nuances that, that those companies keep people compliant because they don't want to drop the ball. Like you said, the IRS, if you say, oh, I'm sorry. They're like, yeah, we don't care. Here's your fine, right? They, they could care less. So Wait, what, it, what can't yeah, you do? Yeah, it, it, similar rules and what you can't do. You just have, there are, there are less things that you can't do uh, with an EQRP over an IRA. Like for example, if you wanted to buy gold and silver, you can physically take possession because you're the trustee. You can't do that with an IRA. It has to go to a depository. So that's, I mean, that's that's significant. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, but it, very very similar rules, and I mean, ultimately, it's up to it's up to you. Uh, you're, I, I find it interesting when people say, "Well, I, I'm too nervous. I need a custodian," and I go, "I, you know, I don't even know how to help you, because this is you need more personal development than you do technical investing." Like it's mm -hmm. there, you've got to be willing to say, I'm going to own my life. It's my life. Yeah. And I think it was Aubrey Marcus uh, that wrote the book, own your life or own it or something. And I mean, it's true. It, ultimately it comes down to the choice you make. Is this my life or is it somebody else's? Am I, am I part of the matrix or am I designing a matrix? You know, like you, we have to choose that stuff or it's going to be chosen for us. Like you, we have a plan or we're part of somebody else's plan. You can invest in all these things you're talking about. It's really interesting. The IRS says, do whatever you want, except these A, B, and C things. They, they're very, they're very funny about that. They don't, they don't really limit you. And so, it really, it's just a question of being creative. I mean, you could, you mentioned doing deals with, uh, with vertical versus horizontal. Can't do vertical, but you can still do deals because you can borrow up to fifty thousand dollars out of your retirement account, and you could do deals with a parent or a kid. There's, you can't do that with an IRA. You cannot borrow from an IRA. So that's another great advantage to be able to borrow, and you can. You know, you can set accounts up for kids, Roth accounts for kids, pay your kids, get a $12,000 deduction for you. The kid has active income at 0%, no tax, no payroll. They could contribute that to a Roth account. Guess what? Growing tax-free forever, never been taxed. An IRA doesn't work like that. I mean, it's, it's half the money, max, 6,000 bucks. It's just that you, you keep stacking all these, these benefits and these values. It, it, all of a sudden, you're like, why in the world would anybody do an IRA? I wonder if our, our with yes, I'm gonna, Go ahead. So, so with us, you know, our shows are real estate of mind. We, we believe strongly. We teach our students. We say, look, if you don't have your head right, you'll never be able to get your wallet right. You just can't. You have to have certain beliefs. You have to have that. You're you have to be able to overcome fears and <clears throat> overcome anxiety. All the all the stuff that goes along with trying to get be successful. You know, right? We we've, we've all achieved a certain level of life that we've all reached a level of life that we're comfortable at currently, right? I mean, most guys like us are still pushing. I just meeting you, but I think you're pushed like we push. So I'm always trying to push to get better at it. But I think that people probably look back and say, it's not so much that I'm nervous about, like, don't trust in myself, but I don't want big brother crushing me or putting me in jail because it's the IRS. Let's be honest. They're, they're, they're a scary bunch. It's like the mob, right? So that, that's probably, if I were to guess, I mean, really, it's, it's a legal mob. They can come in and do whatever they want. You know, if they want to come in and shut your business down, they can. If they want to come to your house and walk in your house, they can. You know, they're, they're a scary bunch. I think that's probably what people... You can look and say, "Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm. I need more information, right, to to know that I'm not going to get myself in prison, right, over this. Because that's that's you know, it's not like well, I might just get fined. You can, it can be bad, you know. And you don't want to lose your whole nest egg either because you didn't check a box someplace that somebody didn't tell you. Because they're a pain in the ass to work with. Let's be honest, they're they're the worst. You know what I mean? So they're they're not a business that cares about you. 
<laughs> you know, they're not into no. customer service. No. But how do you no. help people over? How do you help people overcome that? I guess is what I'm. You know, that's oh. that's the thought, right? You, I'm assuming you have worked out some kinks there. But but they there has to be you know there there people want to have that security, right? They want to understand that part. Well, I mean, one one of the ways to do this is to take yourself out of the tax system, and and the best strategy I know of in the tax system to, that you go to zero forever is a, is your Roth account. It's when once your money is in Roth, once your investments are Roth, and I'm talking about in, in an EQRP because you can still be taxed in an IRA as a Roth IRA, you can still be taxed if you buy real estate and has debt. So with a Roth EQRP, you can go buy all the flips, you can do all the all the syndications, no tax, and it just keeps growing. So at that point. Unless you're being reckless, and I can tell you a great example of I had a client that uh, had a couple million bucks, and they said we want to know what to do. We're a little scared of the stock market. And I said, good, you should be, because it's a casino. You should be scared of the casino. It's for entertainment, not for profit. I mean, for you, yeah. for them, yeah. it is. But so they went out and they bought a house in Florida, and and then I called them and I said, hey, I just want to check on your house because they said we're good. We we're investing, and I said that's awesome. And I said, you guys know there's a hurricane coming through. It's like it's going to hit your area in about three days. They said, oh, well, I said, so who's your insurance carrier? And they said, uh, and I was like, what do you mean? Ah, they said, well, we, we paid cash. I go, so nobody was looking over your shoulder and you, your arrogance around being so smart and so savvy. You stopped, ta stopped taking information from people. You, you, you got rid of your team and they got lucky. Their house was still there after the hurricane because they had no insurance. And obviously you can't get insurance when a hurricane's coming at you. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of the cons. Nobody's, nobody's going to tell you, you have to do these things. And I, I think that's one of the biggest problems people have is, is their ego, just like my ego got in the way and, and drove me off a cliff. And I thought I was invincible, 10 feet tall and bulletproof. And I found out I was definitely mortal and it almost killed me. So I think ego is probably the biggest con that can get in people's way and take them down. Yeah. I think too, that, you know, people are afraid of what they don't know. And if this is, you know, something that's fairly new, it's in the last 10 years, it really is about educating the public and, you know, getting them familiar with what it is and just that, that it's okay to do something that's not quote unquote normal, you know, or something that they're familiar with. And I think that it's really important. You know, the only thing that doesn't change is change itself. You know, the world is always evolving and changing and new stuff, you know, I don't know how many years ago crypto was even hardly talked about at all. And now it's like the new next new thing. So I think it's important that regardless of what someone decides to do, that they are at least open-minded to things that you know may not be as traditional as they were used to. Well, I think it's a really good point, Amber. It's when when people are are looking at traditional and safe, we've been we've been basically bullied by the system into thinking certain things are traditional and safe. We're we're told that that Wall Street and mutual funds, we're Warren Buffett or whoever these these the Oracle says, here's what you should do. And the financial advisor who's your who you go to church with, and and they're like, oh, you should definitely stay in your mutual funds. And we're just browbeaten into submission, and and it's. Like that's that's a terrible strategy. I mean, the reality is retirement accounts. The, this whole system was set up 50 years ago. So we just, I, I mean, I put the pieces together a decade ago, but this thing has been in place since 1973. So it's this is not new. Most people aren't even old enough to, they weren't even here when this started. So this is definitely not new. It's just new to us because we've all we've seen is Kiplingers and Wall Street Journal and, and Kramer yelling about buy, 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 sell, 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 you know, all this kind of craziness. And that's where we're used to. So when there's a there's a cognitive bias towards normalcy, whatever we've seen, what we've experienced, that's what we think is real. And that's what's normal. So right. getting around other circles is one of the biggest things. People that are already doing it, then it's already normal instantly. It's so funny today. About about every year for the past six seven years, I do a career day at my kids' school, and my kids are are through a lot of it now. But it's for eighth graders. They're, they're the toughest group to talk to, man. They're they're worse than adults. So they're they're just sitting there, they're stone faced. But but I've been doing it for a long time. So today I did it via Zoom because that's the world in New York. Everything's shut down, locked down. Don't even get me going on that. Whatever. But so I had to do it via Zoom. So I did it for my house here in Florida, and and um, I added a line that I hadn't added over the years, and I added it, and I told every class there's, I do the same presentation four times in a row during career day, and I I said it every time. I said there's a generational gap. I said, and as you guys, and my, my, my talk is on being an entrepreneur. That's what I talk to eighth graders about. It's about what the life of an entrepreneur is like and what, you know, what if, if you feel that burning in your gut, it's okay. You're not alone. Your parents may not understand it, but whatever. So I said, there's a generational gap. I said, for instance, my son, my son is 21 and he's getting real big into the crypto world. And, and I'm like, son, you should take some money out of there. Just make it secure. You know, I'm, I try to protect my son a little bit. I just make it liquid, whatever. And he's like, 
So finally, I sat down and said, all right, why don't you tell me what's going on? So he's giving me some videos to watch. I'm starting to get, I am understanding a little more. I don't, I'm not in it yet, but I understand more what he's doing. And I said, you gotta be so careful. I told all the kids today, I said, you gotta be so careful because just because your parents or the people that are older than you, that are generations ahead of you don't understand it doesn't mean it's wrong. It doesn't mean it's right, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. I said, so if you, if someone tells you no, because they're trying to protect you, even your dad, even your mom, even your, your uncle, your older brother, if they don't know what it's all about, be careful with that. I said, as an entrepreneur, it's okay to, you know, carve your own path, try and be smart. Don't make ridiculous risky things where you can lose everything. Risk. Yeah. This is like we do in real estate, right? Make a calculated but, but risk. I don't want to impose where our own self-limiting beliefs no. on somebody else. I said, I said, you guys are eighth graders. I said, so, you know, I, I don't know if I reach I, in, a, in, a, in talking to probably a hundred kids today, I'll probably reach two of them. You know, two of them will probably go, hmm, because you know that us entrepreneurs are a rare breed. You know, right. so you know, it's it's funny because that that's a it's a powerful thing that that reflection that you have in in that experience uh, with your son. I, I was uh, if you if you watch the um, the Berkshire Hathaway annual report, the meeting, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger got together. Charlie Munger's ninety seven years old. I think Warren Buffett's ninety. And somebody asked the, the the question was about Bitcoin, about crypto, and Charlie Munger said, "This is." Or kidnappers, extortionists, and I hate it. It's terrible, and and I'm just laughing. I'm like, this is the last guy in the world you'd want to talk to about right. about technology. He and, right. and Buffett totally missed Amazon, and and the the entire planet is changing with decentralized finance and, and with crypto. It's not it's not about it's not about Dogecoin. Like people get all confused. Our system is changing. It's a it's a yes. it happens every forty or fifty years where we there's a big reset, and it's not about everybody going socialism. It's about our monetary system changing. It's happening right now, and for people to just say this is stupid is is naive, ignorant, and and pretty reckless because things are changing. And so it's it's good that you ask different questions. That's that's the key. It's asking better questions, like you did. Yeah, I think it's important. Yeah, I think it's just important to to learn that stuff. And I think it's uh, it's great. Listen, you've been great today. Tell everybody how they can reach you and find out about you and find out about. I can't, I always say the letters wrong, but EQ, EQ, what's what's the over again? EQR EQ enhanced qualified retirement plan. EQ enhanced qualified retirement plan. Obviously, very interesting stuff. Sounds like kind of a cutting edge thing. Sounds like something our our students and people listen to would like to figure out because none of us like to pay a lot of taxes. So if we can. Well, I- how about pay no taxes? I mean, there, there's ways to do, to work, to use this tool. And I mean, the easiest way to, so what you have to do is you have to do something. And and people are like, well, where do I start? Well, here's how you start. Just grab your phone, which is probably two inches from you. Cause I mean, who isn't two inches? I mean, we're all two inches from our phone and just text the word EQRP. There you go. I, I rest my case. Like, it's, like I've got three phones right in front of me. I'm like, wow, I feel like a freaking dog with a leash. I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> If you just text the word EQRP to 72,000 and it'll give you, what happens is you'll get a report. It's a, it's a 15 page consolidated version of the book, the QRP book that I wrote. And if you want to copy the book, I'll FedEx a copy of the book to you as well. But texting EQRP to 72,000 will get the ball rolling. And so instead of going, that was good information. And then you go on to the next podcast, you can actually do something. And then even if this isn't for you, guess what? Mom, dad, cousin, friends, people you know and love could use this information and then you can text them the report, which makes you the superhero. So if you want to be Iron Man, text EQRP to 72,000 and there you go. How many people do you think are using this in the US now? Any idea of roughly the group that use this system? Yeah, there, there are tens of thousands. There's, I mean, there's, it's, it's, a, it's funny though, it may sound like a lot of people, but there's 350 million people in no. America. Yeah. It's not like anything. It's just, a, it's, like a, it's like a gnat on the ass yeah. of Wall Street. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, this has been this has been very enlightening. Great information, Damian. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you want to learn about this, make sure you text EQRP to seventy two thousand. Right. That's and it, man. You secured that number seventy two thousand. That's good. Nice easy one. EQRP to seventy two thousand. That'll start. You get a fifteen page report to learn about it. I'm gonna go ahead and text it now, so I have information too. So that'll be great. And I'm sure we'll connect again in the future. But this has been uh, this has been enlightening. Yeah, didn't know what to expect today, so it's all good uh, good stuff. Sorry for the weird lighting on us, but it is what it is. So whatever, it is what hey, it man, is. You're in Florida. You're in the land of freedom. So I mean, it's all good. Yes, it is. We're not we're not, we're not wearing masks. It's wonderful. It's <laughs> go to dinner. It's all it's nice. It's a regular world down here. I yeah, it's quite nice. Humans, so not zombies. That's great. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. more of that going on down here. So it's been plus it's nice weather outside. The water is just nice. So yeah. it's good stuff. Good stuff. Well, Damien, thanks again for being here. And everybody, make sure you text EQRP to seventy two thousand to get a copy of uh, the fifteen page report, and that'll lead you to the the book if you want to see that. Right. 
and I know I'm going to check it out myself. So Damien, thanks so much. Everybody, thanks for being here on the Real Estate of Mind podcast, and we'll see you on the next episode. See you next time. Thanks.